Thank you, thank you, thank you, young people. What an honor for me to stand once again here um, on the sixth uh, conference, YP conference of our section in UK. I know people are still start coming from near and far. And for those of us who have already come, a warm greetings and welcome to every one of you. As you notice that probably I'll be the oldest person in this group. And I deliberately didn't color my hair so that you can see I'm an old man. But I have a youthful spirit in me and I want to jump with you, dance with you, sing with you. I want to make sure that I worship the Lord with you. That's one of the reasons I always make sure that I am in a youth conference like this. How many of you are really happy today? Only 50% you're happy. How many of you are really, really, really happy today? Can we say hallelujah? Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I think some of you didn't have your breakfast. That's why I can imagine that. Can we say one more hallelujah? Hallelujah. hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. I've been asked to uh, uh, say a few words at the beginning of this conference. As we call inauguration. I told the authorities this time, please do ask another servant of God to come and do this uh, section of the service just to inaugurate and to warm up and to welcome everyone and to, of course, to pray with you. But I am privileged once again to stand here. As um, those who have ad announced, uh, the moderators and Brother Jit also said, this is the sixth time we are meeting like this in this area in the name of YPA. And some of you have been through, some of you have been to all of the, six, the last six, uh, five conferences and I know each conference is different. And I believe this conference, this day is also going to be a very unique one. It's going to be a special one. And we are going to be blessed by the power of the living God. How many can say amen to that? Amen. We are not looking at the guest speaker only. We're not looking at the crowd only. We're looking for the power of God. We're looking for the presence of God to come in the midst of us. And to bless us so that at the end of this conference we can say, truly, it has been good that we came together to glorify the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to take your Bibles, please, to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24. I want to just mention five scriptures as I join with you in prayer for this day's conference as our brothers and sisters from up and down the country are still coming. I am conscious and I am aware that the theme of our conference is very contemporary and it is also very appealing to the younger generation. But a person like me is keeping, uh, falling out of touch with eye power and, you know, whatever you call about it. But I want to focus your attention to Luke's Gospel, chapter 24, verse number 49, first of all. Jesus himself is speaking here. Some of his final words are recorded here. He says, Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high. You see the word power there. Amen. Jesus, as he was about to say goodbye or farewell to his disciples, after his resurrection, he is about to be ascended to heaven. At that time, he called them at the Mount of Olives. And he gave some final instructions, some final word, parting words. And one of the things he said, emphasized was that, You disciples, you must not leave the city of Jerusalem. Stay in the city, tarry in the city, until you are endued. That means clothed with power from where? From on high. We're talking about eye power. I mean, I know this is just to bring us together and we can all join together. I don't know whoever discovered this is a good thing. Brother Donnie, I give you credit and your team for bringing this theme because uh, uh, there is one thing about the power, of course, it's come from God. But the word I, just before that, you've got to be very careful and people can be easily uh, misunderstood or mistakenly taken I power. That means, you know, I have the power. 
You know, I don't need to talk to the pastor now. I don't need to subject to the pastor. I don't need to be under the youth leader anymore. I don't need to, you know, uh, hear what others are saying because I power. Uncle Donnie taught us, you know, I power. So let's keep that I power thing. Guys, you need to be careful when you use the terms. It is good that we have been endued with power. And the power which you and I have is the power of God. The five things I want to mention before I close and I sit down is, number one, we have the promise of the, of the power from God. That's what Jesus said here. Would you look at the second scripture? I won't be reading it, but you can look at it. It's in Acts chapter 1, verse number 8. There we see the purpose of the power. There Jesus said, you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. What's the purpose of the power of God? See, the promise is given to you, Jesus said, you will receive power. But in Acts 1.8, he says, when you receive the power, there is a purpose behind it. The purpose is that you will be powerful witnesses for me in all parts of the world. UK is needing young people like you that you can carry the power and witness the name of Jesus Christ. How many can say amen to that? We are living in a decaying, a degenerating community, a world. In other words, this country is going bad to worst. We need the power of God to witness the name and the power and the authority in Jesus' name. In our universities, we need to manifest the power of God. In our nursing homes, in our hospitals, NHS institutions, we need to establish and we need to have the power of God manifested. How do we do that? But you and I, as we, as young people, brothers and sisters, carrying the power of God, fulfilling the purpose of God. The third scripture I want you to look at is Acts chapter 1 again, verses 12 to 14. I'm going to, not going to read it. There we see the preparation to receive the power of God. After the resurrection of Jesus, Mary, including Mary, mother of Jesus, and all the disciples, about 120 people, they gathered together in an upper room. They were praying, waiting to receive the power of God. So if you see, we need to have a preparation for the reception of the power of God. How many of you have received the power of God in your life? Praise God for those who received it. I believe and I pray that at the end of this conference or during this conference, that you will be able to receive the power, the dunamis power, and you will be able to become witnesses for Jesus never before, like never before. Yesterday, a young girl came to me and said, Pastor Joe, I think I can speak in tongues now. I said, wow, that's wonderful. And this girl said, last time for the YP conference when Pastor Anison came, when he was praying, I received that. That's wonderful, isn't it? And that girl said, can I still exercise it? I said, yes, continue to exercise it. That's what God wants you to be. You know, she, and she doesn't belong to a Malayalam and church at all. But she came to a YP conference and she received the power of God because the man of God preached and he prayed and we all prayed God manifested his power. Can we praise the Lord for that? It's wonderful. So we need to have the preparation to receive the power of God. Today, as Pastor Sujit Alex come and preach the word of God, don't wait for just for that moment. As the choir leads us in worship, you can receive the power. As somebody else is reading a word, you can receive the power. As somebody else is giving uh, some announcement even about the, the meetings, you can receive the power. You need to have a heart preparation so that you can receive the power of God. The fourth scripture I want to mention you, to you is Acts chapter 2, verses 1 to 4. The pouring of the power of God. You know, as Pentecostals, we know that scripture pretty well. On the day of Pentecost, they were all together in the upper room, in one accord, in one place. Suddenly, like a rushing mighty wind, the Holy Ghost came into that room where they were sitting. And it filled all the house. And cloven tongues appeared unto each one of them. And it rested on each one of them. And they all began to speak in tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Pouring out of the Holy Spirit. Today I pray on this 22nd day of February at the sixth conference of the YP, it will be a day of pouring out. Amen. 
we had we had enough of the pouring of the rain for the last few weeks and months and flooded with you know and many homes were uh, affected and many uh, things up and down the country were affected there was a disruption how would you like to have a disruption of the holy spirit when the holy spirit comes and pours out his holy spirit his power on you there will be disruption there will be prophecy there will be shouting there will be hallelujahs there will be tongues and there will be manifestations and there will be healings and miracles i believe that because god wants us to be a people of power i power i receive that power today in jesus name the last verse i want to give you is acts chapter 4 verse number 33 it is the proclamation by the power of god the apostles they were beaten they were threatened but one thing they had and they just couldn't resist the power of god in them when the power of god was in them they were able to go and beyond their boundaries beyond their capacities and they could preach and teach the gospel to anybody everybody in those areas god wants us to be proclaimers God wants us to be a uh, people who are filled with power and we can proclaim the message of Jesus. Why many traditional churches are dying in our country now? There is no power. There is no power at all. There is ritual, the ceremonial and the natural. It is just taking day after day, Sunday after Sunday, that's all. But we must be filled with the Holy Spirit. People with power from on high. and i believe our worship team as are about to lead now you will see the manifestations of the power of god can we just bless our young people as they're going to lead in worship today god bless you as you're going to do that today as i close my words this is my prayer for today that the promise of the power is there and the preparation we need to have we need to have an open heart and open spirit lord i will receive from you and of course then the pouring will come the pouring of the holy spirit it is not in the hands of the pastors or leaders it is not in the hands or in the mouth of the guest speaker it is from the holy spirit it will come and once that pouring come we need to become proclaimers we need to prepare ourselves and proclaim powerfully with the authority up and down the country let us make a difference now would you stand with me for a moment please as we give glory to god i want everyone to pray open your mouth and pray hallelujah can we say some hallelujahs and praise the lord amen hallelujah can we give glory to jesus today we have come not to see anybody today we have not come as spectators we have come as receivers of the power of god we have come as people who are here to be filled with the holy spirit of god and to receive the manifestation of god's power lord fill me today once again fill me a fresh today lord baptize me in the holy spirit i believe that today is a day of the power of god that is going to be poured out in your hearts and your minds come on everyone young people praise god for a few moments now praise god for a few moments now raise your voice and lift up the name of jesus hallelujah oh praise the name of the lord you shall receive power after that the holy ghost has come upon you and you shall be my witnesses in jerusalem and Judea in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth oh god send the power now oh god send the power now and baptize everyone father in the name of jesus i thank you for the ype 6th national conference i pray for brother donny thomas and the team i thank you for all the organizers all the representatives the ministers the leaders the brothers sisters young people children where everyone who are gathered here in this sanctuary we are not spectators lord we are here to receive the power of god hallelujah and to release the power of god i pray that every young person lord in this sanctuary today as they receive the word of god as they worship with the worship team they shall be filled with the holy spirit and they will never be the same again god use these young people for a manifestation for a transformation of the power of god in united kingdom united kingdom will be a different united kingdom because of the power of god because of the manifestation of the glory of god give him glory and praise today jesus you're worthy 
Nobody else should take that worthiness, Lord. Only you are worthy, Lord Jesus. And we give you glory today, Lord Jesus. We pray for the guest speaker among us today. Father, we thank you for the moderators. We thank you for all the organizers. We thank you, Lord, for all the preparation. Thank you for the churches who are contributing, who are coming today. May your name be praised above all, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I pray, Lord Jesus, you will have all the glory and the praise. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Can we just shout and give a clap to the Lord? Hallelujah. Amen.